Hello, I'm Lori Hedler, owner of Devonia Antiques for Dining. And today I'd like to show you how to identify collectible stoneware and pottery. We have some examples in front of us of some of my favorites. We have Amari Ironstone from the Davenport Factory, circa 1805 to 1820. We have some basic Wedgwood creamware. Some gorgeous teal and transferware Ridgeway, probably from circa about 1850. And this piece was a big surprise. I saw this piece in a shop. It was a floor vase. It weighs 50 pounds. I'm not going to turn it over. But on the bottom of it, it says Calden, England. And that's one of my favorite, favorite tabletop producers from the Gilded Age who did beautiful, elaborate porcelain for the table and also had a line of stoneware and pottery. So you can see the beautiful transfer detail, the hand coloring, and it is signed on the bottom. The most important thing to do with all of these pieces to identify your collectible stoneware and pottery is to turn them over. Look at the back stamps and, and you'll see why uh, all of these pieces are so collectible and pretty. The Davenport has an interesting mark on the underside of the lid that tells us the age and that it's ironstone, which is one of England's most strongest, sturdiest porcelains. The gorgeous Amari decoration is always collectible. I'm Lori with Devonia Antiques for Dining. Until next time.